I am going to introduce the transmitter low voltage alarm and battery supply of TAFB. How wrong it? It keeps beeping. It keeps beeping and the beeping sound is caused by transmitter low voltage alarm. And please note, transmitter low voltage alarm of TFB is self-adaptive, and the alarm value will be set automatically according to the battery you use to power TFB. So what batteries can be used to power TFB? TFB is standard packed with a battery holder. And a battery holder can hold four AE batteries. The voltage of a fully charged AE battery is 1.5 volts, and the total voltage of four piece fully charged AE battery is 6 volts, and the low voltage alarm is 5 volts by default. So the alarm will go off once the voltage reaches 5 volts. And except AE battery, you can also use 2S and a 3S liquid battery to power TFB and remove the battery holder out there are two pins inside it and positive and the negative signs are next to the pins and use the battery with JST connector JST connector to power TFB. Make sure the connection is not reversed. And the red cable is positive, black cable is negative. This is the right connection. If the connection is reversed, TFB cannot be powered on. And it is 2S liquid battery. The low voltage alarm for 2S liquid battery is 7.3 volts by default and 11 volts for 3S battery by default. We are to check the transmitter low voltage alarm and we can check it on parameter setup app. It is TAB Bluetooth version which means I can connect it to the app via Bluetooth. And the app has already been installed on my phone. Here it is. How on TFB? Open the app and click connect and read the link. And TFB makes a beeping sound. Then press any one of the trimmer button to confirm the collection and click and the beeping sound stops mean the collection succeeds click system 1 and TX alarm and it is 7.3 volts for 2S battery by default and you can also make small adjustments to it for example I set it from 7.3 volts to 7.4 volts and then click right the data will be stored and please note one or the battery can be used to power the transmitter such as chargeable battery battery pack nickel metal hydride battery and so on but please make sure the voltage is within the working range of TFB and the connector of the battery is JST connector. JST connector here. And two, the USB port of TFB is not used to power the transmitter or battery. It's only for firmware update. If you want to charge the LiBo battery, use professional LiBo battery charger, such as RadioLink CBA6 Plus charger. Use it to charge the little battery. And you can check more details 
of the charger in the description of the video. And that's all about transmitter low voltage alarm and battery supply of TAFB.